something for nappies and something for, you know, so, so I get that they're looking for very specific things within, but for me that's why most prioritising looks the same, I mean, most, you know, there seems to be certain stuff for certain products, um, and they do tend to pigeonhole people, and I, I but if, you, if, you, if someone does one thing incredibly well, then of course that they should, that's what they should be doing, and, you know, they've got a time for it, but I, my personal thing is that it's good to have a bit of variety, uh, in terms of the channel, your, your question about Channel 4, it, it might be that, I don't know, I mean, I've, been, I've, I've worked at Channel 4 for sort of seven, seven or eight years, uh, although we actually do work across external clients as well, um, I don't think it, 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 it's not a rocket science to kind of look, you know, look for different things. If you've got a concept up front, which you generally have with an, with an ad from an agency, you, you're probably going to be looking for a certain style in the first place, um, and in fact there'll probably be a mood board that, you know, a certain amount of work on there. We, we tend not to have mood boards, it tends to be very much from the art director's mind of this is the concept, who do we, you know, sometimes actually uh, the concept is influenced by the photographer. Uh, but I, I don't know, I, think, I don't think it's, because we work, I work at Channel 4, I think it's just, a, it's just a personal thing. I think one of the biggest problems, and I think uh, one of the biggest problems for all professional photographers is that we all kind of work in a profession where there are no rules. And I think that's one of the, the, the biggest problems. A lot of people get conflicting advice uh, from different people and everybody sort of makes up yeah. their own rules as they're going along. So that confusion is, is often there. And I, I, you know, it's something we try and do in the magazine is try and make sense of that. But uh, I think the key thing really is to try and find people who are passionate about photography. <laughs> That's the hardest part, Who's all, who are also a client. I, I, don't, I, I also look, at the, look after the, the creative, the, the art directors, the writers, the creative teams uh, that come in to see us, whether they've been doing it for 30 years or they're straight, straight out of college. And I had a graduate team come see me the other week and they, had, they, 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 they came when they were at college and I just said I thought their book, it was quite good stuff. They came a couple of weeks ago and I said, what happened to that? Probably what it was for now. That that campaign you had, and they said, oh, we went to see an ad agency, and they didn't like it, so we took it out. So, but you know, and it's the same thing was with, with, with the photography side of things. It's, did, I said, to them, did you like it? Said, yeah, it was, it was our favourite thing. So we're keeping it. You know, it's kind of yeah. um, it, that. That was one art director at one ad agency on a certain day. Even if you had seen them the next week, they might like to. Let alone other people from that agency and other agencies. And it's probably the same kind of thing with with with, with the photography book. So, you know, if if everyone's saying they hate it for whatever, and then maybe you want to listen to them. But ultimately, you've got to be true to you. Well, it, isn't it always the case as well that, that you've got to be able to uh, defend a piece of work? If somebody's going to cr uh, criticize yeah, a piece of work in your book, if you can stand up and defend it, then the person seeing that should be able to respect that. But, but yeah, I think that's absolutely true. But I think as much as anything, it's actually down to a kind of an emotive uh, feeling you get from seeing a piece of work. I mean, the, the technical side of it for one thing, and does it do a job from an advertising point of view? But actually, what do I feel when I see that image? There might not be any technical uh, uh, discussion on about it, but I like it and you don't, and that's, yeah. that's kind of it. You know, yeah. that's, as much as anything, there are, there are certain discussions you can have uh, and really get into it, but actually it boils down to, I really like that piece, it just does something for me. Yeah. Um, well, that's that whole thing of getting too uh, tied up into the whole technical side of photography, isn't it? Which, when uh, you're commissioning photography, uh, the emotive side and how it makes you feel is actually the key. And it's interesting, also you said about working with people who, uh, who you like. I mean, I always used yeah. to say that it's kind of, commissioning a photographer is 90% who they are and 10% the photography, yeah, absolutely. but that 10% has got to be really good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you'd agree with that yeah, as well? Yeah, well. when I get the chance to meet people, which I say I haven't done as often this year as I like, you get a feeling with someone, you, 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 you know, whether you can have fun with them, it doesn't really matter, it's nice if you can, but ultimately you get the feeling that I'm going to be stuck with this person, it might be a day, it might, but it might be a few weeks by the time you've done post and whatever and, and we need to get on. And you get so much uh, just a uh, uh, chemistry thing with working with them yeah. uh, or meeting them that yeah. you're pretty sure you put the person down the line if it's yeah. not following where you could be the following year. Yeah. Uh, and it very much comes from a, just a personal connection uh, you get with Yeah, them. yeah, absolutely. Uh, were there any other questions? Is there anything else uh, that... Um, well, we, we, we didn't meet when we first worked together, so... No, we didn't. No, you're absolutely right, but we haven't worked for, together for a long time, so on that basis, I'm definitely here. <laughs> uh, is there anybody else? Uh, the gentleman here. Yeah, uh, yeah, so the, the gentleman asked, is it, if I'm right in what you were saying there, because it was, it was quite, quite long, but uh, basically it's kind of like that kind of team thing, the, the, the connections between creating a piece of 
of photographic imagery, but also creating a piece of music, and everything kind of has to come together in both. Is that where, where we're at with that? And the importance, basically, of getting all the elements uh, correct. I think, I think that's right. I think, I think it's so important for, and that's where a good producer uh, comes into their own with, with pulling that team together. Now, clearly, it's got to be down to the photographer who they like working with, and that's as much as a, a personal thing as, uh, as the, the thing we are just talking about. But if you can get a good team together, and sometimes it's trial and error, and have a, you know, everything from having great assistants to retouches to uh, the, the, the whole crew, it's so important. And, and every and, and there's, there's also a reason why some photographers work with they have a, a team and they work with them kind of solidly. Um, it is also of course sometimes you need to bring a certain person in for a certain job, but the core crew is is so important. Yeah, and I, I think that's kind of underestimated sometimes when it, when it comes to a, from a photographer's point of view. Uh, and it is trying to you need to find people and, and try a few people out but if you can get that group together it's such an important thing and it does make it does make the whole better uh, any more questions anything else Fred no no okay well just so you can say thanks very much Ed for uh, sparing the time I'm sure you're going to be uh, inundated now with emails yeah well means if, um, you know, if anyone uh, uh, has books they want to go through or whatever then by all means please get Will you be willing to look at those now? Or later? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm around for it too. Yeah. Okay. Three. So there you go. If anybody has got any work with them they'd like to show the photographic director of Channel 4, it's an unexpected uh, chance. Uh, or if Ed's going to be here just around at the stand for a little while, I'm sure he'd be happy to chat for a little while. But he is on holiday, I have to tell you. So please don't uh, keep him for too long. Um, and also he'd be happy if you wanted to email him at Channel 4, I'm sure. So um, thanks, Ed, for being so passionate and also for um, spending some time off your holiday. Absolute pleasure. Cheers. Thanks very much.